Okay, this is how you rebuild reset disks in a VitaRoot 2002 computer. Here are the symptoms. It doesn't reset all the way to zero when you have uh, told it to. First thing is, you can actually take these computers apart, four bolts. The top separates from the bottom. Go ahead and give it a great cleaning, lubrication, see if that solves some of your problems. Find a round dowel about the size of the bar to push through. If you use a flathead screwdriver, you're going to break something. Once you've got it through, pull it back out. Then the wheels will come out. Watch where the washers come from. They'll be on each side and look for how many are on each side because that sets the spacing to keep everything from binding up. Okay, with the disc out, you can see the reset discs. These are those little uh, circles within the disc. As you see at the top, left is an old reset disc. Here's one that's obviously broken, so that one would need to be replaced. When you have the disc out, you're going to want to lubricate the little place where the shaft goes. Okay, get your wheels back together. Pop them in there. This is the point where I put the washers back in with the aid of a tweezer and pushing the round screwdriver or a dowel back in. Vita Root does not recommend you put the wheels back on all fives or all zeros, so you can see I've got them in random places. Okay, once you've got the washers in, now you put the shaft back through. You are displacing the rod and pushing that in. Uh, if you can't get it through very well, you're going to want to wiggle it. It's going to take some force, but you'll get it through. You know, don't push it too much, but you got to push it enough. And you're making sure that they're not in a position to be reset when you're pushing that rod through. Okay, now you're going to put back together your reset mechanism, which is on the right there. You're spinning it to test for a successful reset. If everything stops on zero, everything's good to go.